Yo guys, what's going on? It's Dub here. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to CC or color grade your anime or game footage. And I'm going to be doing everything inside of Fusion today and it's going to be very simple and anyone can follow along. And this will not require anything in the color page and you won't have to mess with any sliders or vector scopes. But if you are color grading and color correcting real life footage, then I do highly recommend you learn how to use the color page. But for now, we're just going to be using the Fusion page. So let's get right into it. All right. So the first thing you're going to want to do while you're in fusion is to hit shift space and then add your color curve right here and this is just right inside of a fusion comp and this is the original clip i'm using but you can do this right on your clip or whatever you want to add the color to so i'm going to get my color curve and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take this down a little bit and then take this part right here a little bit up and what this does is it'll give us a little bit more contrast and the highlights and the shadows of our scene as you can see right there and then next what you're going to want to do is add a color corrector so once you have your color corrector all you're going to want to do is go to the saturation and pull it all the way down so now we have a black and white image and now it's time to get the actual color to map onto this image that we have set up now so what you're going to want to do is go in the description of this video and join Peach's discord if you're not in there he's a great friend of mine and he makes great davinci tutorials as well and he has a tool and a channel so if you go into his discord and you open up the channel from Peach under editor's library you can see right here there's a gradient map cc version 1 setting you're just going to want to download that and throw it straight into fusion so for me i have his cc gradient map in my macros folder so i'm just going to look up gradient and then add the pj gradient map and once we have that it should look something like this and now that you have this in we're going to actually get the color to look somewhat normal so you can do whatever you want with this but i'm going to show you how i do it so i like to drag the middle right around here and then i like to add another point by just clicking in the center to replace that point point. and now what i do is depending on on the vibe of the edit or the color scheme that I want, I will change these colors by clicking right here. You click on the point and then you can select the color right here. And now you can choose whatever you want. So for this scene, it's originally a somewhat dark scene. So I'm gonna go to somewhere like a blue right there and then drag this down to be around here. And then maybe I'll lighten it more like a teal kind of blue and a little bit darker like that. And then for this second color right here, I'm gonna click on there and then click on the color right here. So what I think I'm gonna do is just drag this down by clicking on the slider here. And as you can see, there's a good contrast, but I think I wanna move this over to the right a little bit just to get it a little bit darker. And then I'm gonna change this color right here a little bit more. And there we go. I think that's about good for what I was trying to go for for the scene. And now you can see the before and after by clicking on your original media and clicking two to view it. And there we go. That's the difference of the CC right there. And of course you can mess around with the color a lot more and get more contrast, or you can move around the actual sliders to see how it affects the colors and how it maps onto the original black and white image. But for me, I'm pretty satisfied with how that came out. So I'm just gonna leave it somewhere around here. And now it's time to add a little bit of details or whatever else you want to add. So for me, I'm going to add some grain, some glow to this color grade. So what you're going to want to do is hit shift space, add a filter node, and then you're going to want to go to filter type and then change this to grain. After you have it set to grain, you're going to want to change some of the power and the seed and animation settings. So if you want the grain to move around while the video plays, as you can see right here, it moves around. You can leave it like that. But if you prefer the grain to just be mapped, then all you can do is just click animated to unanimate it. And then for me, I'm going to change it to my preferred grain settings. So I like to have mine around four. And then I like to change my seed just somewhere like that. And then it should be good. So now I have a little bit of grain mapped onto my image. So it's not as smooth. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a soft glow. And now you can see it's quite bright when you first add it on, but I'm going to change that. So I'm going to go and have my threshold to be somewhere around here, just so it maps to the brightest parts of the image. Because the threshold slider, how it works is if you go more to the right, it'll try to select just the brightest parts. And the more to the left you go, it'll just use everything as the source of glow. So it depends on what you're trying to glow and your scene. But for me, I like to try to just get the bright parts of the face right there. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the gain down a little bit. As you can see, it's a little bit bright. So somewhere around that looks good to me. And then you can also change the glow size so you can either have it more together or you can separate it all like that. But for me personally, I'm just going to go out a little bit and then change the glow size down. And that's about good for my glow. Now that you have finished the glow, you are basically done with your CC. You can add anything else you would like to like flicker or any other effects but that's basically it as you can see we have everything done here and if i compare the media 
originally compared to now. As you can see, we've made a pretty good difference in the overall color and the look of the scene. This method also works with games. So if I take a screenshot of Valorant right here and just unplug the original media right here and swap it for the Valorant screenshot, as you can see, it doesn't map properly, but there is an easy fix to this. So what you can do is just go to the PJ gradient map, click there, and then go to the settings right here, and it'll show width and height. And all you have to do is match this to the resolution of the image or footage. As you can see right here at the top right, it shows what resolution it's in. So you're just going to want to type that in. And now that will map properly to the whole image, as you guys can see here. And it works just like the anime CC. You can change it to whatever you want it to map to and any colors you want. And that's basically it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Normally people use plugins like MBL to do this, but you can do it all inside of DaVinci and all for free. So I wanted to share my method with you guys and hopefully this will be of some use to you. It would help me a lot if you left a like on this video and subscribe for future tutorials like this. And I will see you guys next time. Later.